hello dear experience welcome to civil service school all of you know that rrb and tbc exam is coming so to, we have started a crash course to give a brief summary of everything whatever may come in the exam and we hope that this time every one of you get enrolled into indian railway the largest psu of india with 14 million employees this is a very coveted job and best wishes to all of you and like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel this is my introduction my name is hemen sharma and i have prepared rrb and tbc in my very first attempt and got a job in traffic apprentice and this was the post with highest cut off in last rrb and tbc and these are the other exams where i have got success till now so this is a question of jumble sentence rearrange the following jumble sentences to make a meaningful one you just read these sentences and write down the proper sequence so let me tell you one thing one strategy for solving these questions of jumble sentences that means you need to read lots of newspapers that newspaper can be anything it can be times of india hindu indian express or anything you just need to know the sentence structure of english and then you will get to solve these questions weather conditions across a vast geography the climate of india scale and ferry topography comprises of a wide range of the answer will be the, the climate of india comprises of a wide range of weather conditions across a vast geographic scale and ferry topography so the answer will be q the climate of india comprises of a wide range of weather conditions across a vast geographic scale and ferry topography so the answer will be qs pr qs pr b will be the correct answer so you read newspaper whenever you get time and whenever you get chance and just notice the sentence structure these questions don't need to read any standard book no standard book for all these questions you just need to read second is that there are some computer based questions in rrb and dbc these are very common questions and i know that all of you are aware of these things like the process when the computer is switched on and the operating system gets loaded from hard disk to main memory is called answer is booting have you heard the word fetching in computer in general terms in computer you i i don't think that you have heard the word fetching you know processing is not this this thing and multi processing is not this thing so the answer is booting so there are some common terms basic terms which are usually asked in competitive exams like cpu or cpu hdd hard disk drive ssd solid state drive ram random access memory rom read only memory let me give you the basic meaning of this term cpu cpu do the basic calculations of computer this is the brain of a computer where all things happen hard disk drive all of you know that whenever you get some movies or etc you just copy and paste those items in hard disk drive so just remember from that point of view ssd is same like hdd but ssd is a very modern concept it is like hdd but uh, but the computer with ssd is way faster 
then HDD SSD is a faster version of computer or read only memory is like like the memory of your brain whenever computer do something these things go to RAM so whenever we buy a mobile we just see whether RAM is 8 GB or 16 GB etc so whenever a computer have or mobile have 16 GB RAM that means this computer is way faster because this computer can keep lots of memory it have it has lots of memory space than the 8 GB version so ROM means read only memory and floppy disk I know many of you know what is floppy disk but you have not used floppy disk this floppy disk is not used in modern day it is like the CD CD but it is, it is an older version CD compact disk it is like compact disk but it is an older version with less memory space with less memory space this use not in common so operating system operating system is is like the a computer runs through a set of rules these are some set of computer programs suppose the android operating system and ios operating system these are some set of rules for android devices and apple devices so the computer or mobile understand this set of rules and they work following this set of rules only so modem is a peripheral device modem is a peripheral device suppose you have bought a photon previously it was a photon by tata to use internet so photon is a modem your router for wi-fi services that is a modem this is actually a peripheral device and bit is the smallest unit which is used in computer and byte is the 8 bit means a computer store knowledge means store information in the form of binary form there is 0 and 1 and bit and byte comprises of this 0 and 1 browser internet explorer google chrome or mozilla firefox all these are browser we use this browser to search in internet to surf through internet database database is a is like a set of datas is like a set of datas suppose you have a database of college your alumni in college so in computer also whenever we make a website or there suppose there is a information system like there is a website where alumni database is stored so this is called database where information are stored and you know file and folder many file com forms a folder many file form a folder folder suppose there is an icon whenever you create a file or a folder a icon is created in your computer screen ip means internet protocol for every internet using computer there is an internet protocol this is an unique identity of a computer unique identity of a computer spreadsheet spreadsheet means there is a set of row and column row and column where information are stored boot means boot reboot all the boot i have already discussed in my first question and whenever you boot a computer you boot a computer to give effect to your software suppose you have downloaded a new software and computer needs a rebooting to to apply that software in your computer so this is called booting toolbar that start menu in windows this is a toolbar so in toolbar we uh, put those icons those things which you, we need very often need very often url url means uniform resource locator 
uniform resource locator. This is a very important concept for competitive exam purpose. Every website has a URL that http dot civil service school dot in this is an URL dot in that this is an URL and that ion means India. Suppose there is a dot com dot com means world worldwide. Suppose for website in UK you will get dot UK. For website in Pakistan you will get dot PK. These are identifiers. So bandwidth. Bandwidth means when internet transmit data, this bandwidth is used. For higher bandwidth, we will get more speed of internet. So bandwidth signifies speed of internet. Broadband. Broadband is actually a fake concept. This is actually a fake concept. But we use this concept whenever we denote that this this data is this internet connection is more fast that is this internet connection is faster than this previous one so broadband concept was actually developed to designate faster internets faster internets so broadband is a modern concept but this is actually a fake concept we don't know what actually broadband is or how much speed can be called a broadband virus you know the virus virus are like they they are used to corrupt computer files there are many form of viruses like malware trojan etc recently there was a virus called pegasus you, you can expect some questions on Pegasus in this year competitive examinations. Cookie. Cookie means a text file which is sent by websites to your computers. And this text file is used to track your behavior. And Google or any search engine send ad advertisement to you based on this cookie files normally cookies don't have viruses cookies are just like text file and they are used by search engines to track you firewall is like antivirus so and spam is those folders in your mailbox which are which suppose there is advertisement email so this will go to spam folder and CAPSA, all of you are aware of what is CAPSA. Now we will come to some questions of CI and SI. So we will give more basic terms on computer and you just research those terms in internet and if time permits we can have a separate lecture on computer. So now we'll come to CI and SI. This is a question of SI. So whenever you are solving these questions for competitive examination purpose, you need to unlearn a few things. You can't solve these questions based on the traditional knowledge of you, like CI is equal to A CI not CI. This is A is equal to one plus R by 100 equal to the power n. This this formula should be totally unlearned because you can't solve questions in competitive exams based on these formulas. So suppose this is a question. This simple interest on a certain sum of money invested at a certain rate for two years amounts to rupees 1200. The compound interest on the same sum of money invested at the same rate of interest for two years amounts to rupees 1290 what was the principle so let's solve this question the simple interest on a certain sum of money invested at a certain rate for two years amounts to rupees 1200 so this is the simple interest for 
two years and simple interest is constant so what will be interest in one year it will be 600 rupees 600 rupees the compound interest on the same sum of money invested at the same rate of interest for two years amounts to rupees 1290 so this is the 1290 is the compound interest so what was the simple interest for one year 600 so in this compound interest of 1290 600 rupees is simple interest because simple interest remains same for the same capital same principal amount so 600 is the interest for simple interest and that 690 is the interest for second year so let me tell you one thing this 690 rupees of interest comes from that 600 rupees of interest means 600 rupees of simple interest plus 690 rupees of interest and that is actually the interest of rupees 600 which was the SI simple interest for one year so 90 rupees is the interest for 600 rupees so what will be the one rupees of interest of 600 by 90 rupees and what is the interest for one year one year interest was 600 so th this will be the answer so 4000 is the answer you just visualize this question and solve this is the answer and if you don't understand just ask me in the comment section i will teach you better so whenever you do questions of ci and si just use your basic sense don't go by the formulas this is a question of blood relation for solving blood relation questions let me give you a simple trick suppose there is a male male figure just give use this symbol suppose there is a female figure just use this symbol suppose there are some brother and sister brother suppose a a a is the brother of b a is brother of b then use this symbol suppose a, a is married to b married to b married to b then use this symbol and for suppose a is the a is father of b father of b then use this symbol a is father of b for one suppose c is daughter of daughter of b then just use this hierarchy c is daughter c is female so just give this symbol and c is daughter of b that does not mean that c is a father or that doesn't mean that b is a father or mother we can identify the gender of b so just keep it that don't encircle or square it ram said ram said ram said we don't know the gender of ram although it lo it looks a male male name sita is my sita sita is my is my paternal great grandfathers only the daughter in law paternal great grand grandfather so grandfather will be a male so this is grandfather let me let me draw here this is grandfather great grandfather so grandfather has one son or daughter we don't know great grandfathers great grandfathers only daughter in law so that great grandfather has a son and that son is married to is married and this is his wife so this is great grandfather great grandfathers only this is daughter in law this is daughter in law so and sita is my paternal paternal means from father's side great great grand grandfathers only 
means only the third in law means only son so sita is female and ram said sita is my paternal great grandfather's only sita is my paternal great grandfather's only daughter in law and ram ram said so sita is to so ram is the either son or daughter of sita is it true so how is sita related to ram so sita is the mother of ram sita is the mother of ram this is the correct answer we can identify the gender of ram from this so is it clear if it is not clear you just solve some more questions using these tricks the mogul empire was founded by all of you know that this is babar so in uh, rrb and tpc you can expect some questions based on history that is static part so let me tell you one thing all the aspirants who are preparing for some government exams they should read ncerts they should read ncerts rather than rather than depending on some books in market like lucens etc these books are not better than the ncerts ncerts is the main books so it is a request from my side whoever is preparing for government exams just read ncerts from class 6 to 12 at least history geography geography and economics it will fetch you better marks in exam rather than solving these rubbish text books in the market like lucent arian etc so this is direct question from history you just read ncerts and as the exam is coming you may not have enough time so you can read lucent arian and etc books but i personally won't recommend you these books so this is a question of related to trigonometry in uh, uh, rrb and tpc you should expect some questions on trigonometry and geometry so for trigonometry you just need to learn all these basic formulas like like 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to 6 square theta 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cos x square theta cos x 1 plus sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and all these things and the and value of these angles 30 degree 45 degree 0 degree 90 degree like sin sin 30 means half cos 30 means root root 3 by 2 and tan tan 30 means 1 by root 3 tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta if time permit i will take a separate class on tan theta on trigonometry so till then you just read basic basic all these formulas of trigonometry all formulas of trigonometry you just read all those things and you should expect some questions on trigonometry in exam a ladder is 20 meter long 20 meter long is leaning against the vertical wall this is 20 meter long it makes an angle of 30 degree with the ground this is 30 degree with the ground how high on the wall does the ladder reach means we need this value so all of you know that this is sin 30 Per, sin 30 means perpendicular by hypotenuse so here perpen we need the value of perpendicular and hypotenuse is 20 sin 30 value of sin 30 is equal to half so perpen p implies p will be 10 meter so p will be 10 meter so this so i request all of you to read all the formulas of trigonometry and the standard values of 0 30 45 90 and value of sin cos and tan sin cos and tan i will give you formulas in a separate class 
so thank you guys we have started a offline mock test for upsc cce and all of you know that apsc cc exam is coming with new pattern of upsc which resembles upsc so you can take this offline class it will be of 10 mock test and you can take this offline mock test for both upsc and apsc so whether why you should opt for this because upsc is basically a offline exam although you will get duration of two hours duration two hours duration for exam that means 120 minutes of exam but real time it will be is almost 100 minutes because you need 20 minutes of time to darken the circles and this time is not utilized in your online mock test because in online mock test you can use every minute so you should opt for offline mock test and we have center in Guwahati and Silchar you can use you use, use this service so thank you dear experience and best wishes really best wishes this time railway job will be in your hand all of you will be railway men railway men so like comment and subscribe to our channel thank you thanks a lot really thanks a lot